My name is Ben Lawhorn. Uh, I'm an engineering staking technician. I'm Keith Copeland. I'm a staking engineering technician. And uh, we work in the design and engineering department. So the work we do for the co-op is when someone calls in and wants a new service or service upgraded, we go out and meet with them, uh, decide what the best option is. Uh, basically any odds and ends with anybody who's got any questions about their services. We also redesign current lines out there to better the REMC so that our customers have a better electric service going to their properties. We come in in the morning, uh, we work on whoever we talked to basically the day before, get all the paperwork, design it on the computer, send out the paperwork to them, and then in the afternoon we go out and meet with people about new jobs or follow-ups. just depends on what we have for the day. Uh, so a lot of times we'll go and read uh, regulators, we'll go and read substation readings, and then of course we'll meet out with the customers. So the type of training that we need for us to do our job is of course uh, we go through a electrical staking schooling, so that's out of Indianapolis through Highline. Also an associate's degree or a bachelor's in some sort of electrical, you know, whether it be an electrical engineering, electrical technician, electrical technology, anything of the sort. Those are, of course, desired, but it also equals to an equivalence. I was in the military and have some college as well that helped me get to the position that I'm in. I was in the Marine Corps. I did electronics when I was in the Marine Corps. And then I worked 20 years out on the lines out back as a ground and equipment operator. It's not required, but they want you to have uh, associates. But if you have equivalent work experience, that works too. When I had my interview, they had asked me if I'd be interested in going to school to obtain an electrical engineering degree or anything equivalent to or the sort of. I think they like to see us work our way into that so that we do have a better understanding so that we can build projects more efficiently. If you want to get started, you can go ahead and do, get an associate's in electrical technology. And you can also do the path where you get a job uh, through Lyman, get an apprenticeship. Uh, you can go to climbing schools there's a lot of different ways to get to do what we do. Uh, just gotta apply yourself.